Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Linux partition from a dual boot system so that you're left with just Windows again. The first thing we need to do is change the boot order so that Windows is the first option so it doesn't try and show the Linux grub menu. Uh, to do that, reboot your computer and press the relevant function key to enter your UEFI boot settings. Um, and then go to the boot um, menu and then scroll down until you get to the point where you can see the boot options and then you should see um, your Linux distribution is the first option and Windows is the second option. And what you need to do is switch the order as shown in the video so that Windows is first and Linux is a second. And then what uh, you want to escape and save the changes and then when you save and exit, it will boot into Windows. Now that you have fixed the uh, boot order, so Windows always boots, you can um, amend your disk partitions. So from the start menu, if you type DISC MGMT, you'll see create and format hard disk partitions appears. Click on that. Uh, Obviously, if you've got anything on the Linux uh, disk, you should back that up. Um, if you've got any important files and stuff, you need to copy those somewhere else because we are going to wipe this. Uh, so what you do is right click on the Linux partition and you just do delete volume. And that leaves you uh, some unallocated space. Uh, you, you don't want this. What you want is Windows to take that whole space. So what you can do is right click on the Windows and then do extend volume and then you click next uh, selected the disk and it's saying the amount to use which is all of the space which is 29.999 gig uh, click next and then just click finish and you'll see that um, Windows now takes the whole drive up and now when you reboot um, it will always boot into Windows and it's like you never had uh, Linux there in the first place. There is one more bit of tidying up we need to do. Uh, the Endeavor boot option is still um, present in the UEFI boot settings. So if you did go into the UEFI settings, you'll see that that is still there and available to try. It wouldn't work, but it's still there. So what we're going to do is delete that. Open a web browser and type easyuefe.com into the browser as shown in the video. Uh, this piece of software allows you to amend the boot options. Uh, click on the free trial option and that will download to your computer. Uh, double click on the downloaded file in your downloads folder. Um, choose your installation language, uh, accept the license agreement and then um, choose the folder that you want to install it to and click next. I have already previously installed the software, so it shows a message um, saying, do I want to install to the same folder? I'm going to click yes. You shouldn't receive this option. Click next to choose the start menu folder and then choose whether you want a desktop icon or not. And then click next. Finally, click install and the software will be installed to your computer. You can either launch the software by leaving the box checked on the installer or you can double click the icon on the desktop. When the software loads, uh, it will do a quick update check. Uh, there are essentially two options. There's the EFI boot option or EFI system partition. Um, for this, we need to use the EFI boot option. You will see all the boot options available to you, Windows and your Linux and maybe others. Click on the Linux one and then click the delete icon. And when asked, are you sure? Click yes. You may wonder why I choose to use this software to set the boot order in the first place. In my experience, I found that it doesn't always work, which is why I like to use the UEFI settings. Having said that, the delete option does seem to work. Your Windows should now be completely as it was before you installed any Linux as a dual boot option. And that is the end of the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from Everyday Linux user, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.